What's going on, fellas? I thought I would make a little bit of a different video for the day. I decided to do a quick video and title it something to the effect of what you can learn from Bald Omnivat. Now, this is a, a silly title, right? Because he's got a large channel with a shit ton of information. There's a lot you can learn from the guy. It's not a singular thing, right? But, but today, I want to kind of pose to you guys something I think you can learn from him uh, as a person right? Something that I like about the guy quite a bit because it's interesting and it's probably something I could do better within uh, my own life, right? So what I think that he does tremendously well is balancing his ego. And then what do I mean by that, right? I think some level of ego is, is necessary, right? I think definitionally ego is the sense of self, right? So we need a sense of self. Uh, we need to have some level of confidence in ourselves if we are ever going to succeed at anything, right? So we can probably agree that no ego at all is a bad thing. You need to have confidence based on your actions, right? So if you are, if you know you're doing what you need to do, you should be confident based on that, that you are moving towards your goals. If you do not have sufficient confidence, uh, let's just take the gym as a concrete example that we all know about. You are going to really struggle to move forward if you lack the requisite confidence approaching the weights. Uh, I, I've met many people, I've tried to tell this to my girlfriend many times, that you need a little bit more ego. You need to take yourself a little bit more seriously and you need to believe in yourself a little bit more if you want to make forward progression in something that is ultimately pretty hard, right? So we can agree that no ego is a bad thing. Right, But then if we go too far in the other direction, I think we all understand where that goes. It leads to a lack of self-reflection. It leads to being out of touch with reality. Uh, and within a training context, it leads to the inability to uh, assess and realistically fix what you're doing wrong because you refuse to admit you're doing any wrong because your ego is so large, right? Um, and I think specifically, Mr. Bald Omni Man, Coach Butler does a very, very good job of this. He's a very confident guy. He knows when he's, what he's doing is the right thing to do. He's confident. He knows he's the, per, the person who is doing what he's supposed to. And that's why he's seeing progress. It's not just, oh, well, I guess I've got good genetics. He's like, well, no, I'm seeing forward progression because I'm doing the things that I know as a strength and conditioning coach I should be doing. I'm gonna tell you guys this with confidence that this is probably what you should be doing, right? Very outwardly confident guy, probably more so uh, than myself. But on the other side of the coin, uh, Coach Butler and I talk all the time uh, about like training related stuff, kind of the nuances of programming, just fun bouncing, bouncing stuff off each other because both of us very much enjoy that aspect of coaching. Um, and a couple weeks ago, probably two weeks ago, uh, I noticed on his uh, hack squats on the Smith machine, his knees were shifted back a little bit out of the hole, maybe biasing the motion towards his glutes. And I didn't really know, uh, I didn't know him that well. I still don't know him that well. And so I didn't know how he would respond, but he seemed like a really nice guy. So I shot him a text. I was like, hey man, you could probably get a little bit more out of those on a set to set basis uh, if you just took a little weight off the bar and let your knees stay forward through the duration of the motion to kind of bias the motion, keep the weight in the quads. And I was like, oh man, I probably should have sent that unsolicited advice this is for douchebags. And uh, you know, he had the most baller response of all time. He's like, that's a, that's a fair point. Now that I look at it, I see that. He says, I'm training legs tomorrow. He took a plate off the bar and he's like, yeah, that worked. And not only did that, like, did he go that far, he realized, oh, hey, this is something that I can apply kind of unilaterally across my training is, hey, I am moving a certain amount of weight on this motor pattern, but I'm not doing it in a way uh, to maximally tax the musculature that I'm looking to emphasize. And he took that one thing that I was just like, hey, on, on the on the hack squat, right? Because squats are something that I specifically probably know a lot about, just as someone who's been in kind of the powerlifting realm for the duration of my training career. I'm like, okay, well, I know what knees shifting backwards in a squat might mean and what that the implications of that in a bodybuilding context. And he took that and unilaterally applied this across his training and kind of fine tooth combed his way through his training and saying, okay, everything I'm doing for my legs, how can I make sure that I'm not just moving weight, I'm biasing this towards the muscle, and then he put out a video explaining basically uh, some of the things that he's, uh, he's improved upon. And I think that was like the ultimate example of how to manage your ego in a way that just makes you a more productive uh, and more successful person is be confident, right? Don't, never really, you don't have to doubt yourself, right? If you know you're putting in the requisite actions, you should be confident in that, right? Be confident in yourself as a person. But at the same time, the second he was just like, oh, that's a good point, he would, wasn't offended in the slightest. He took a fine tooth comb, went through his programming and, and literally just improved everything over the course of like a week, right? So it's like, 
being, I don't like the word humble because different people mean different things when they say it, but being confident and humble at the same time is something that I think we could all take away uh, from Mr. Bald Omni-Man.